Our bodies are exceptionally clever. Even when we're asleep, they're doing all sorts of extraordinary things, like mending themselves. These things don't happen by magic. Deep inside ourselves is a chemical called DNA. DNA acts like an instruction manual controlling how our body works. These instructions are made up of four chemical letters that we call A, G, T and C. These repeat six billion times. That's enough letters to take a whopping 57 years to read out aloud. The complete set that makes you the unique and brilliant individual you are is called your genome sequence. Around 99% of our sequences are the same. It's the 1% that makes us all different, deciding everything from our height to our hair colour. DNA is a bit like the computer code used to give robots instructions. Sometimes a glitch in the code, like a spelling mistake, will create individual differences. Most of the time, this isn't a problem. Sometimes it can even be an advantage. But if a glitch makes the instructions confusing, the robot might not be able to do things as it should. It's the same with our DNA. Everyone has glitches, but some of us have glitches that cause health problems because our body isn't getting the right instructions. For instance, having a glitch in the DNA for your muscles might make you less strong. The only way to find that glitch is to look closely at your genome sequence. Genome sequencing is an exciting new technology. By taking a blood sample, scientists can remove the DNA and read your sequence using a high-powered machine. The scientists will compare your sequence to thousands of other people's to find the glitch. They might even compare it to your close relatives, like your mum and dad. Working out exactly where your genome is different can help doctors to diagnose the cause of your condition and decide on the best treatment. It's still a very new technology, so the more people have their genome sequences read and compared, the more we can learn about DNA and the more answers we can find in the future. <laughs>